Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to talk about SpaceX history and future. So before starting this video, please click I like it and subscribe to our channel for future updates. This act so completely offended Elon that he decided on the flight home that he would start his own rocket company to compete with them. Former NASA Deputy Administrator Lori Garver wrote in a book about the commercialization of space. If Helen of Troy had a face that launched a thousand ships, this was the spit that launched a thousand spaceships. At the time, Musk was visiting Russia in order to negotiate a deal to buy space rockets for a future mission to Mars. He initially had wanted to create a greenhouse on the red planet called the Mars Oasis. SpaceX co-founder Jim Cantrell also recalled the incident in a Channel 4 documentary that aired in May and in biography on Musk by Ashley Vance, Elon Musk, Tesla, SpaceX, and the quest for a fantastic future. SpaceX was founded as Space Exploration Technologies Corporation less than a year later in 2001 and Musk has continued his rivalry with Russia for decades, eventually turning SpaceX into a competitor to Russia's Soyuz rocket. Musk named the Rocket Falcon in a nod to the Millennium Falcon from Star Wars. Falcon 1 was an expendable two-stage to orbit launch vehicle that cost about $100 million to build. The company unveiled its second spaceship, the Dragon, a year later naming it after the hit song Puff the Magic Dragon by Peter, Paul, and Mary. Musk said he used the name because many considered his vision for the company impossible. At the time, the company was one of very few to attempt to make a commercial space rocket. By 2006, Musk, who had made millions when PayPal sold to eBay, had invested a third of his fortune into the space venture. The company also received $278 million from NASA under the agency's Commercial Orbital Transportation Services, as well as funding for its first two Falcon launches from the United States Department of Defense. Between 2006 and 2008, SpaceX had three failed launch attempts that Musk 10, has said 9, almost ended the company. 8. In 2006, SpaceX's first launch attempt failed as a result of a fuel leak and resultant fire. A later review of the launch vehicle found that a fuel line nut had corroded due to nearby ocean spray. SpaceX altered its design to replace aluminum hardware with stainless steel as a result. The next two launches executed the first stage of flight, but encountered issues after separation that prevented the spacecraft from reaching orbit. SpaceX almost went bankrupt as a result of the failed attempts. At the same time, Musk was also facing issues with financing at Tesla and reportedly waking from nightmares, screaming, and in physical pain due to the stress, according to Eric Berger's book about SpaceX, Liftoff, Elon Musk and the desperate early days that launched SpaceX. SpaceX's fourth flight represented the company's last chance as funding was beginning to run dry. The Falcon 1's first successful launch was on September 28, 2008 from Omelec Island in the Marshall Islands. It was also the first successful orbital launch from a privately funded company, representing a major shift in an industry that had been dominated by government programs. No major changes were made to the rocket between the third and fourth launch, but SpaceX did increase the time between first stage burnout and second stage separation as the previous failure had been attributed to a timing issue. SpaceX rocket launches are divided into two stages. The first stage is the booster, which makes a big push to a certain altitude and then falls away. The second stage continues on and pushes the spaceship into orbit. I messed up the first three launches. The first three launches failed. Musk said in an interview nine years later. That was the last money that we had for Falcon 1. That fourth launch worked. Or it would have been. That would have been it for SpaceX. But fate liked us that day. Following the company's first successful launch, SpaceX was able to secure more funding from NASA as well as some private investors. The Falcon 1 rocket was retired after its fifth launch in 2009. SpaceX's Dragon spacecraft reached the International Space Station in 2012. It was the first commercial spacecraft to deliver cargo to ISS and led to several more contracts between NASA and SpaceX. Dragon 1 flew 23 cargo missions to ISS until it was retired in 2020. SpaceX began developing Dragon 2, a version that would be able to carry astronauts as well as cargo, in 2014. Future of SpaceX Traveling to Mars, traveling to another planet is a natural next step in space exploration. Elon Musk has said he plans on dying on Mars, not as a result of an accident. Through years of its activity, SpaceX prepared for that step, not only by creating a detailed plan. Elon Musk also plans on warming Mars up, though it's not sure what technology will be used. The plan includes refueling the vehicle twice, first after the launch on the Earth's orbit, for the journey to the Red Planet. The second refuel is planned on Mars using local resources of water and carbon dioxide. That will enable the vehicle to travel back to Earth. The company plans on putting the first human on Mars by 2024. A Starship Vehicle 
Of course, the journey to the Red Planet will never be possible without a proper vehicle. If everything goes according to plan, Starship will be able to carry 100 metric tons to the orbit, making it the most powerful launch vehicle ever made. The on-orbit refuel will also enable to transport to 100 tons directly to the Red Planet. Moreover, the use of Starship does not end on this mission, private space service. Starship will also create a huge economic change. Elon Musk plans on creating a variety of private space services. Those include, of course, space tourism. The first private journey is planned for 2023. It will take a week during which the passenger, Yusaka Mizawa, will fly by the moon. The mission will help to fund further development of Starship and will be a step closer to regular space tourism. Moreover, SpaceX will provide transport of cargoes, satellites, and possibly other objects to Earth's orbit and beyond. The company hopes to create a system of services that will be used by everyday people in the future, returning humans to lunar mission. Humans abandoned the moon in 1972 and no one has been to our natural satellite ever since. SpaceX wants to use the moon as a commercial travel target and a possible location for a space base. The importance of the moon lays in its lack of atmosphere and proximity to Earth. That makes it a perfect spot for launching vehicles or a linking point between the Earth and other celestial bodies, making humans an interplanetary species. It is not a secret that SpaceX's ultimate goal is to colonize other planets. Most of the previously discussed goals are somehow related to the dream of making humans independent from Earth. Though it may seem unachievable for some even crazy, the company consequently plans and achieves goals necessary for it to happen. Achieving every goal puts SpaceX one step closer to creating space colonies, even though it's still a long way down the road. The first human city outside Earth will probably be created on Mars. We can conclude that all of the SpaceX goals are connected with making humans a multi-planetary species with private space services available for everybody and independent from any government. Supersized rocket, the stainless steel Starship has 33 main engines and 16.7 million pounds of thrust. All but two of the methane-fueled first-stage engines ignited during a launch pad test in January. Good enough to reach orbit, must noted. Given its muscle, Starship could lift as much as 250 tons and accommodate 100 people on a trip to Mars. A six-engine spacecraft accounts for 164 feet, 50 meters, of its height. Musk anticipates using Starship to launch satellites into low-Earth orbit, including his own Starlinks for internet service, before strapping anyone in. Starship easily eclipses NASA's moon rockets. Thanks for watching.